Welcome back everyone, as usual, this is Buff Bud, and uh, today we are back with another episode of, uh, oh, hello, what's going on? That was weird. Anyway, um, we are back with another episode of uh, Life is Strange, and let's get back, there we go, oh, no, no, okay, uh, and we are back with another episode of Life is Strange. Uh, last episode, we ended up basically just wandering the girls' dorms. Uh, we ended up, let's see, we took a shower, and then we helped out Kate a little bit, and then got yelled at by Kate, and a whole bunch of other crud about Kate, because apparently she was in some kind of, uh, video. Uh, I won't get into details, because you probably would have seen it in the last episode. Anyway, uh, let's see. We also found out that apparently that doe we saw in the forest uh, as we were heading up to the lighthouse was apparently our spirit animal, according to uh, Samuel, the uh, uh, gar uh, groundskeeper. And we ended up... Uh, I guess that's actually basically it. Anyway, here we go. In between the last episode and this episode, I just got on the bus here, so you didn't miss anything. And here comes more, most likely copywritten music. You know, I think I have to ask, where exactly are we going on the bus? Like, I mean, it never actually said anything, and... I mean, school is right there, the dorms are right there, are we going on some kind of field trip or something? With only, like, what, seven people in it? That can't be right. And there's the lighthouse. Ah, and here's that two whales place that, um, that Chloe wanted to meet us at. Oh, and that's actually Chloe's truck right there. Uh-oh. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm gonna be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Let's talk to these people. chit chat. Or I'm not. a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. How about you? Hi. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule um, isn't working. Uh, do I want... Uh, if I say this, she'll probably end up waiting around. But if I say this, she'll probably get mad... And then she'll probably figure out something else, though. Uh, I don't know. I feel like it would just be rude having her just wait here. I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming, too. Oh, that's a relief. Okay. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. What up, Chloe? <laughs> what? Running late, grab a booth at the diner. Mom will feed you. Somebody better. I'll be lucky if you, uh, if you make it by noon. 
Do I have to actually cross the street? Hey, maybe I can get like run nope, over. I don't oh, want to go there. Ne nope, never mind. Hey, can I talk to you? Talk, talk. No. Ah! Hey, what's up, fisherman guy? Let's Good talk morning. To you. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. You did pretty good to have lasted this long. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. Oh. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. They own my school. Crooks gain respect when they put their names on schools and libraries. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Man, the Prescotts are just taking over everything, aren't they? Okay, uh, right down the window again? Or did someone finally clean it? Obviously, nobody took nope. my advice. Nope, never mind. RV, look. There's that dirty RV from the other day. <laughs> okay. Uh, stop oh. Stop that. Stop. No barking. Okay, then. Can I get, like, a bone or something, something to creepy give the dog? There's about that guy and his dog. Oh. Maybe I can go around the back way? Nope. Huh. Come on, there has to be something I can do. Dang it. Nope, guess not. Yeah, there is something up with that over there, though. Like, I feel like there's, like, a bone or something I could probably get around here that I could give the dog. Then maybe I could talk to the guy and he'll help me out in some way or another. Hey, can I talk to you? Oh, what the heck, dude? Just keep walking, you jerk. Alrighty, what do you got to say, dude? New newspaper. Let's read it. Snow. Well, that's a good start to the story. Alrighty. Excuse me, sir? Can you believe this town? The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds! The snow was pretty odd. It was right in the middle of a warm, sunny day. Oh, global warming bullshit. What? It's the Northwest. Snow happens. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is green. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. You mean Rachel Amber? Well, I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? Yeah, I think I'm done talking to you now. Oh no, homeless man. Can I do anything to help you? Or maybe you're a Hello. lady. Oh, oh look lady. at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. Ah, uh, Joyce Price, who is she? I don't even remember who she was. Joyce. Can I remember that? Arcadia Bay, Prescott family. Ooh, you know... She might be able to give me some leverage against the family. I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. Right there. <laughs> that whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead. Like anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a Prescott. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family. Especially not for law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell. Almost. Who is she? I totally forgot. You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed right. me my own family. 
How's a daughter your age who's always in trouble? Married to a real prick. His name is David Madsen. He told me to get a job once, asshole. <sighs> Not sure what Joyce sees in him, but he better treat her right. And see, that's what I really hate about how people portray homeless people. Like, sure, I do admit some of them w will be how they're depicted, but a great majority of them are just not able to do anything. Like, they try, and they try, and they try, but they just can't because of society. They try and get a job, but they can't because they can't look too presentable because they don't have clothes, and... Society. That's all I gotta say about the matter. A thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. What changes to the town? Ones it takes a lifetime to see. There's a lot of beauty here, but a lot of darkness, too. Greedy bastards that ruin this town put people out of work. Out of home. Like me. Society. I'm sorry. Right there. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. I have to go now. Goodbye. I wonder if there's some way I'll be able to help her out. Like, I feel like this game is going to end off in a fantastic, uh, I guess just feeling like all the a-holes like the Prescott family oh dog can I do something with the dog oh okay anyway um um any a-holes like the Prescott family will get what's coming to them and then all the homeless people just well people like the homeless I should say anyone that needs help is going to be able to get it. I feel like that's what kind of game this is. And I, I, I don't know. I feel like I'm going to just get really depressed if that's not going to actually happen. Oh, did you just see the wind? Oh, that is so cool how it does that. Well, I guess we're going inside now. smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware Ugh, makes me feel 13 again. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Yeah, that whole breakfast thing totally just, uh, it's kind of weird because, um, uh, I guess the heat must have just, oh, no. <sighs> Can I, like, clean any of this, Becker please? has been here forever. Oh no. Oh. <sighs> and then see, there's a lot of stuff about Rachel. Gross. Fire walk with me? What's that supposed to be? Is that just a term I'm not familiar with? Or what? Whoa, 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 wait a minute. And there's another deer. And that seems like it's way too finely made to just be, um, uh, to just be, like, normal graffiti. Thank you, redneck color. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, <laughs> wow. Man, what Samuel said last episode about the whole doe being my spirit animal thing, because there's a doe on my shirt, there's a doe right there. We saw a doe in... What, what does that say? Men, women, oh my god. Uh, anyway, we saw a doe in the, uh, the forest when we were going to the lighthouse. Something's going on here, definitely. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. Oh, you no. Lost. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now that is a real problem at the uh, two wells. I can never decide. 
Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese? Aw. Uh, let's talk about Joyce, because well he seems Joyce? to like her. I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our... Our mother. Oh, boy. Um, Chloe, he'll probably have a bad opinion about because, you know, troublemaker David. I, I don't even know what the heck he's going to say about him. I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? Okay, so just kind of acquaintances. He kind of has a reputation at Blackwell. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> Not everybody can be a cop. You know, he may have served his country, but he could be less so, jerky you know about it. Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard that Chloe even had a pot dealer in her room. Let's see, who told you? That would imply that I know something about it. That's not good, no, no big thing. Or I suppose I could leave, but... No. That's not good. Anyway, mm, that bacon sure smells good. Yep, change the subject. Uh, oh no. Uh, I don't want to lie and just be rude about my friend, but... Oh boy. If I say I do know her, then he'll probably have a bad opinion about me and. Uh, well. I don't know. She's my I friend. Know. Then you know she's a handful. She can be, but she can also be a good friend who shows up when you need her. Sounds like you're a good friend. I wish she would be a great daughter and not cause Joy so much stress. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. Oh. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. Okay. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. Okay, so there's more about the RV. Let's talk to what this do you guy. Want? I feel like shit. Too much beer, so spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. Sorry, I think I bumped, uh, bumped my mic just there. Let's see, weird lady, huh? Hello there to you. Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Oh. Enjoy your breakfast. <laughs> Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. Didn't have to be a complete jerk about it. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Really? Shouldn't you be taking photos? Not yet. I need to <laughs> get my coffee on, too. And throw in a little green bud and you have the perfect hippie cocktail. Really, dude? You are so not a hippie. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School. Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor oh, sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. There we go. Trevor looks as happy as yeah, Dana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. Yeah, I didn't actually ever see him at all. No, I actually didn't. I thought you were staring right at my face. I guess you know now, and so does Justin. <laughs> I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. I'm really not liking most of the guys in this game. They're just too generic. Uh, let's do guitar tune, I guess. Isn't that what I'm already listening to? Nope, guess not. Oh, God. Please, no. Oh, it's too late. Dang it. Oh, wait a minute. No, it's not. Oh, ho, ho. Come on. There we go. And I'm not going to change it because Banjo is probably worse. Oh, boy. 
Can I talk to Joyce? Well, first let's talk to Trucker, dude. Maybe uh, he'll have some hello? anything Pardon for me. Moi, but you're in my eyesight. Isn't everything in here with an eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smartass. Like Shut you. up! Joyce rules. I want to be exactly like her when I grow up. Looks like you're on your way. I've been coming to this dive for three years, and Joyce gives me shit like it's going out of style. That's how she Good. rolls. That's why I worship her every move. Good. I can't wait to see you flipping greasy bacon in a diner when you grow up. Exactly no, I think like I'll be Joyce. saving the world with my time rewinding powers. What about you, other dude? I don't feel like talking right now. Okay, well. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Over now. Well, I guess it's finally time to meet up with uh, Chloe and maybe Joyce. And there she is, a lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> Like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. <laughs> but not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking. Oh, pot. God. I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good Great. man. Great. No now what, she's getting said. involved. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. Really? I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did, after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, no, you should have stayed with William. Chloe Even after he... Again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. Uh-oh. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was I think his I might have pressed my mute button. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? Oh boy, do I want to take the credit for it, or do I just want to say that he scared me and say it was Chloe's? Because it sounds like her mom already knows about all of that, but, um, I suppose I can rewind if it's David really that bad. David scared me when he said he might have my scholarship taken away for that stupid joint. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat oh, for okay, Chloe. good. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Black. No, he doesn't. He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty-gritty. What do you want to eat? Ooh. Well, that's a toughie. I like bacon, but I don't entirely like omelets. But I do like Belgian waffles as well. Ooh. Eh, let's go with the waffle. 
The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. Now finish your coffee. One Belgian waffle for the hungry girl, pronto. One Belgian waffle is 12 o'clock high. I love the delicious anticipation of nerd graffiti. Warren must have been here. Hmm. Coffee. Let's look at the menu. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. <laughs> and coffee, because apparently I absolutely have to drink it. Can I get some beer and bacon before I die? This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep no going back in time. It looks like you had plenty. Stick with the bacon. <laughs> really? I have to keep drinking it? Oh my god. Order ready. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, okay. I guess I just had to wait for her then. Gotcha. I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. Yeah. I'm drooling like a baby. Still Only one? Ah. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ah. Oh. Mm, speak of the devil. Hey, Chloe, what's up? Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. <laughs> Put the whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh god, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl. A woman. She's 18 now. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. Ah. Well, it's kind of deserved. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town. What is this shit on the jukebox? I didn't pick it. Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation. And I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. How am I supposed to prove this it? It's all happening so fast. Like, we'll start I could do something right and here. then she yeah. won't even realize it. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Oh my god. Let me see. Hey, <laughs> okay, Max. She and pulls out everything, I check it out, and then I end up having to go back in time. Um, oh boy. Well, I hope she doesn't have a gun. But, you know, being her, I wouldn't doubt it. Keys, she would obviously have, and then chewing gum. Eh, maybe. Let's try keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Oh boy. Um, let's see. She has a skull t-shirt. Uh, razor blade keychain? Uh, I don't know. And then she has the bullet necklace there. Uh, let's stick with the bullet theme. A bullet, just like your necklace. That was so wrong. Oh no! Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. Okay, so I guess now I find out, then I have to go back, and then I have to tell her. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Okay, so now I check it out. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Okay, so there's a single key with a little panda with like a heart on it. There's a pack of cigs with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in it. Let's see, there's 50, 75, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 86 cents. And a warning ticket. Let's see, uh, parking bay, blah blah blah, and it looks like that's it. Okay, and now I have to go back in time, and then I have to tell her exactly what she had. Come on, speed it up. Uh, 
what? Um. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Okay. Uh, well, there's not keys. Actually, any of these would work, really. Uh, I'm assuming if I say the parking ticket, then she'll ask me what's on it, and I didn't really check it too much. Money, I can tell her exactly how much. Cigarettes, I can tell her exactly how much. Keys, she doesn't really have keys. She has mm -hmm. one, I mean. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? <laughs> uh, 86 cents exactly. 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. Okay. Uh, cigarettes. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Seven exactly. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. <laughs> Amazing. Something else in my pocket? <sighs> keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Uh, let's see, it was a panda keychain. A cute robot panda keychain. Oh, Not robot? Bad, Super Max. I didn't realize it was a robot. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? A parking ticket. You know me well. But, what is the exact... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I didn't see that part. Uh, I think it was actually 1034. I, I think I saw a 10 there, hopefully. 1034 a.m. Booyah, Max oh, Hotel thank time. God. Phew. And realization. Amazeballs. I literally just got chills all over my neck. <laughs> you have powers. No, really? Oh, take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I am freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. Oh, no. I will predict the future. <laughs> no predict, way. quote unquote. Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Okay, so let's see. She comes by. She waves. Oops. Oh, no. Did you break another cup? Really? Oh, okay. No refill for you. Okay. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick. Don't slap oh, me, bitch. boy. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Is that all? No. Okay, she goes to the bathroom. She waves over there again. That's the best song I've this heard. This is yet. sure the hell better than that other guy. Uh, okay. The jukebox dies. Baby Jones's locker. So, what are you waiting for? Now it's time. Oh, okay, I see. I guess I was supposed to go back way sooner. Maybe. Oh. Oh, I'm I guess going to okay. predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Oh, let's see. Joyce drops her plate. She didn't drop the plate though, I don't think. The cop drops his glass. I didn't see that. He, uh the trucker does drop his mug. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. <laughs> so what happens next? Uh let's see. Alluring cops the radio when he leaves. He eats a donut. And his partner leaves. He has answers. Oh, I didn't see his, um... Oh, I see. Alert on cops radio, and he leaves, and he eats a donut, and he answers, and his partner leaves. That's the it. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Let's see. Justin and Trevor uh, fight, and Joyce beats them. Joyce stops them. Joyce doesn't care. Joyce encourages them. What? Uh, she doesn't beat them. I suppose sending them outside is stopping them, isn't it? Justin and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. Uh, jukebox goes crazy. Has a cockroach... Uh, uh, as a cockroach crawls on it. I didn't see that. As a fly lands on it. As a butterfly lands on it. As the trucker plays a new song. Uh, crud, I didn't see that part. 
Um, because I heard the trucker saying something about it, but I didn't the see him over there. Crazy as the trucker tries to play a new song. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Ooh, I didn't see the the trucker over by the jukebox, so I'm pretty sure I got that wrong. Oops. Dude, Did you, you right. break another cup? Really? No refill for you. In case I am wrong, I'm gonna take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a oh, dick. You're so cool, me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. Oh, it was the cockroach. Oh, dang. Can I, like, go back to when I made the the um, choice of what I did there? I didn't. Uh. Uh. Oh, dang it. Uh, so I'm going to have to go through all that again, aren't I? Oh, dang. Oh, my God. And here she goes again. Oops. Dude, did you <sighs> break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a oh, dick. You're so cool. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. And now for the cockroach. Man, I didn't even see the cockroach. This is a Max sad day in Maxville. This is yeah. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. And now I'm gonna have to so redo all that, aren't for? I? Dang it. What are you waiting for? Okay. Am I gonna be able to just redo that one choice, or do I have to do all of it? All I'm of going it. to predict. Oh God! Come on, let's see. Do, do, do trucker drops his the mug. Trucker. So what happens next? Uh, let's see. Uh, partner leaves. The cop. Well. Let's see. Joy stops them. Just. A... This is good. And the cockroach. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Oh, I see. It's an actual cutscene now that I got everything right. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, what really? Go, Mom? No refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. But he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. <laughs> You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max. <laughs> this isn't a toy. She though. totally reminds I me of someone I know in real music. life. Screw that! Of course it's a toy. The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached. Oh my god, really? Boom. It's like it never happened. Grow up. That's what you think of? Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Oh yes, my god. That's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. <laughs> uh, look at your nose. Too much blow? Oh, no. Hey, are you okay? That's what Too happens. Much excitement. Oh. See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully <sighs> test the power. So we that's what happens if I use okay, my powers too much. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. So apparently if I use my powers too much, then I'd start having physical effects. <sighs> Great. Anyway, um, I'm hoping this video ended up um, recording properly. About halfway through, I think I ended up pressing my mute button. And it looks like it's uh, the mic is actually going, but I'm thinking the first half might have been... Uh, not recorded so the first half of this video might be a little odd. I might have had to just redo this um, I think I'm ready for thirds shut up 
but you're think... only on your first. Let's just do this. Um, I think I might have to just re-record the first half of this episode or something, and then just, um, I guess, put it together with this half here. And, uh, it might be just weird there. Um, anyway, uh, thank you all for watching. And, uh, if you did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you, and have a great day. Goodbye.